Hello, welcome. Let's play around this question, question 10, A and B of just ended WASI 2023 September edition for Ghana. The core mathematics. So they say a cupboard contains three kinds of notebooks and the notebooks are labeled J, K and L, all of the same size. The size have been the same. So the number of book J is three more than half of the book L. Then the number of the book K is also one third the number of book L. So if there are 25 books in the cupboard, you have to find the number of each of the kind of books that you have. Then go ahead to find if the book is picked at random from the cupboard, what will be the probability that it will either be a book K or the book L. So this is a word problem that we can be able to look at. So now I'll be using the JKL in their raw state. So if that is the case, let's look into it and see. These are the three books of the same size. So the number of book J. So let's begin with the J. The number of book J is three more than. Now in word problem, three more than simply means added on by three. So if I say three more than X, meaning X plus three. So it means X, the three will be added on to whatever that we are referring to the condition as more than. So three more than half of book L. So half of book L. Three is more than half of book L, meaning J is just going to be half of L plus three. That's the meaning of three more than half of book L. Then the number of K, meaning we can find the book K is also one third the number of what? Book L. One third. You know one third is one out of three, the number of book L. So we have this. So one out of three L. Now, so these are the conditions. So it means that the book J and K are defined in terms of what? Book L. So now if we are saying that if there are 25 books, meaning the total number of books, a cupboard contains three kinds of books. All the three books together produces a total number of what? 25. So we can write that in the mathematical statement to generate an equation. Meaning the book J plus the book K plus the book L all must give us what? 25. The total number of the three books in there of the same size is 25. But we know an expression for J is in terms of L. So 1 out of 2L plus 3, which is for J, plus K, which is 1 out of 3L plus the L itself, which is in terms of L. So we can see that from here, the bracket does not bring any special terms in here because there is nothing in front of it. So we can still maintain to have 1 out of 2L plus 1 out of 3L plus L plus 3 equals to 25. I'm only trying to group the L's together so that we can have them together. Since they are the same, it means we are going to add only the coefficient. But any linear equation that involves fractions, we look at for LCM and we multiply through by the LCM. So I can decide to maintain the 3 here and multiply by the LCM or transpose the 3 to go to the back before I multiply. In each case, you get the same answer. So using the LCM of 6, we know the LCM of the denominators, which is 2 and 3, that is going to be 6. So 6 will multiply 1 out of 2L plus 6 times 1 out of 3L plus 6 times the L itself, 6 times 3, then 6 times 25. 6 is multiplying every term. And this can be simplified as in 6 divided by 2 will be 3 with the L. 6 divided by 3 will be 2 with the L. The L already 6 of the L plus 18 equals to 6 times this 
will be 120, 130, we have 150. So now, looking at all of this, this is LL. So the 18 must go. It could have been transposed at the early stage. So 3 of the L plus 2 of it plus 6 of it will give us 11 of the L equals to 150 minus 18. 11 on the L is going to give us so 132, whereby we need an L. So let's divide by 11. 11, meaning L is going to be, I think that to be 12. Meaning the number of books for L, there are 12 of them present. So how are we going to find? I said if there are 25 books in the cardboard, find the number of each kind of book. So already we know that there are L, uh, there are 12 of the L number of books. Then you go back into that of J, replacing the L with 12 in order to find what the J will be. So now picking the J, J is going to be 1 out of 2 times L, which is not 12, plus 3. We know this will go here, 6 times, 6 times 1, 6 plus this, will give us 9 books. If I can give the L equals to 12 books, then taking the K, which is also going to be one third L, and the L is 12. So one third of this will give us four. Four books. This will be 13 books. 13 plus 12, 25. So we are able to find the number of each of the three books present that give rise to 25. So simple word problem, we can be able to arrive at that. Then the second part, we are looking for the probability that it is K or L. You know, compound probability, if or is there, is an addition. So first of all, probability of K or L will mean probability of K plus the probability of L. And how do we find the probability of K? The number of K books over total number of books and the K we have 4 then total is 25 the L how many books are they? that will be 12 so 12 divided by total give us the probability it is the event of our sample space and our sample space is 25 the event of L is 12 the event of K will be 4 since we have the same uh, denominator you only add your numerators Meaning 4 plus as 12 will be 16 out of 25. And this becomes the probability of selecting either K books or L books. Question number B of the same question 10. In the diagram, P, Q, R, S, T is a circle with the center O. So P, O, R and QOT are straight line. Then we have QT, T and RS are parallel lines. With these arrows show that they are parallel lines. The angle in here is given to us and the length of RS, RS is equal to ST, meaning this triangle RTS become an isosceles triangle. So you have to find the value of RST, RST, meaning you're looking for this very angle. So since the RS and that of QT are parallel lines, RT becomes a transverse. And a transverse that connects two parallel lines produces an alternate angle. So we can say that the angle that we have been given RTQ is the same as the angle we have TRS, this very angle, which will also be 33 degrees. So if that is the same, we are going to use an alternate, alternate angles. That is what we use to find 33. Now this very angle that we are finding, So from the triangle 
RST, this triangle, which is an isosceles, the base angle are going to be the base angle we have TRS, TRS is equal to STR, which is 33 degrees. Why? Because they are the base angle of an isosceles triangle. So the moment you have that, 1, 2, 3, if you add all of them, you have to get 180, which are the sum of the angles in a triangle. So I'll be having the whole of this become 33 plus 33. I'm referring to this angle and this angle plus the angle the question is asking us to find all must give us 180 degrees. So this right here will be 66. The angle RST 180. You can agree with me that this will maintain this will be transposed to become negative. So the angle RST is the same as 180 minus 66. And I'm sure 100 will be left. So 14. So 114 degree. So the value of this angle here is just 100 and what? 14, 33, 33. I believe the property we use under the second theorem, if you check here carefully, we have not even used any property in second theorem. All these properties are under plane geometry, which is properties of a parallel lines, then properties of a triangle. All right, thank you so much for watching. Like, share, comment, and subscribe if you are new. Bye-bye.